Okay, once again, the first step I do, now this is the Pro Comp 190, because of verification being that these things, quality control is up and down all over the place. This is a, a weird situation, because what we got, this head was rated at 190ccs on the intake. I'm not sure on the exhaust, but these are the numbers I got. I got 65 cc's on the exhaust, okay, there's my cc plate still, on the intake side, I got 196. So this is the reverse of the assault head that I've done earlier. Uh, this right here has got 6 cc's bigger in the port than what it was supposed to come from the factory. The assault went the other way and went backwards. Uh, it's kind of like... Um, Tom Hanks in that uh, movie, what, what was that, uh, where he says life is like a box of chocolates, you're never going to know what you're going to get, well, same way on these cylinder heads. I have to say that the worst quality control that I've ever seen as far as combustion chamber volumes, port sizes, belongs to Chrysler. Mopar or Chrysler Performance, hands down, is the worst quality control uh, a few years back in the late 90s, I was doing a, a 318 quench head deal for a customer and we went to Chrysler Parts here in Nashville and uh, they had we had to go through seven boxes of cylinder heads to get two that the combustion chambers were within three cc's. Some of them were off as much as eight to ten. After going through all them boxes, we got the two that was the closest, and they were three cc's apart, same part number, same head, same casting number. So, uh, that was the late 90s. I can't speak for right now, but Chrysler, as most of you all know, has always been the bottom of the barrel. They, have the, they hired the flunky engineers. Their casting qualities were rough as a cob, but you got to hand them for making that Hemi and their block design. As far as rod stroke ratio, the tall blocks, they were mathematically on top of the game. So there's plus and minuses, but just in general, the quality control on the Chryslers is bleh. Anyway, back to this here. We're starting out with 196. Now my game with this ain't to get a bunch of volume. It's already going to be up there when I put the tubes in the heads and get rid of what I call the notorious pillar of power. Um, so doing that and straightening that roof out, I'd have to say if I had to gamble uh, when I'm done, I'm probably going to end up with about 212 to 215 cc's of intake runner volume. Now, a lot of you might say, well, you can just buy a 210cc head. No, you can't. You can get the volume. It's all about the shape. My shape of 210 to 212 cc's is going to pack about 30 more CFM, maybe even as much as 40 CFM. That might be stretching a little. But for sure, 30 CFM more than the 210 or 212 head that come from ProComp. It's all about shape line of sight, expansion rate, and control of the gases as it goes around the push rod and starts to exit and dump where the bowl is. There's a velocity thing going on there. So anyway, now that we got the CC volumes recorded, we're going to take the head and we're going to start doing the preliminary deal, which uh, cutting for the tubes that go into the head, we're going to tube it here and here. And then we're going to go in on the valve guide, and I'm going to show you how I cut a lot of that guide material. Because remember, with an 1130 seconds valve and a head diameter less than 219, we can actually get away with two inches length of valve guide. I like to try to keep two and a quarter. Uh, it's aimingly what I go for, so I measure the length of the guide from one end to the other, and I can trim that down and get that guide out of the way because by shaping the aluminum box that's holding the guide, I can really pick up a lot of high lift flow numbers in the four, five, six hundred lift range by, by straightening out that roof. So anyway, let's go ahead and get ready to put the tubes in the head. They've already been reamed 
for the tubes, I just got to show you my fitment, my process, which I have showed you in some other videos, but I'm going to go back over it and touch it again, and then we're going to go in here and cut a bunch of that guide out. From that point on, we're ready to start cutting because I've already A, sonic to all the ports, seen which way the core shifted in the head, draw the map up, I've got the dimensions, which is the main thing. Once you get that piece of paper that's got the math, then it's just a matter of taking the paper and turning it into reality. So let's go ahead and get started on this and get to cooking on it. 